Oh, delightful. Alright, we finally have the pass to cross the Pontar. Got it from the Baron last time I played this game. So let's go use it. I advise you well. Steer far afield of spit far bluff. Try to win them all, first you won't. This curd. Ah, curd. That would hit the spot. <coughs> you choked to death on three pounds of steam. There we go. No, oh, it's you. Can't let you pass without a <laughs> pass. I got a pass now. Perfect. Just so happens I have a pass. What? Let me see. Doesn't seem forged. You never know. All right, move on. Yay! I finally got a pass. I screwed up every other option for getting a pass. <laughs> And I finally have a pass. Yay! Alright, well I'm not going to Skellige yet. It's a level 16 quest and I still have a lot to do here. Let's go visit Triss. There's a lot of things out here that we have not seen. We can explore some of these question marks on the map while we head toward the big, big city. Ooh, looks like a little path, a little path into the woods. Are they going to be monster or mortal? Which sword do they get run through with? Sounds like critters. Yep. What the heck is this thing? Probably gonna be. This is new to me. Monster Den. I don't think I've seen one of these before. Am I gonna regret this? Oh, it's a Necker. I don't remember them having little ponytails, though. Oh, shoot. They're Red Skull Neckers. That means they would kick my ass. Oh shit. There's another monster nest. What in the heck? This whole- all these woods are- Infested by monsters. Let's look. Alright. Let's remove the custom marker. Monster den here, full of high level neckers. And some kind of monster nest out here, and I'm gonna assume another monster nest! Let's go find out, I guess. Whatever this monster is.
Yeah, those are the more of those knickers. Yep, another monster nest. Oh yeah. I don't want to engage any others. it. It had a red skull over its head, but I handled it. And I would say not too badly either. I mean, I probably couldn't handle like two or three at a time, but I handled that one. That wasn't so bad. But yeah, I get it. There's a lot of Neckers in these woods. It's Necker Woods. That's what we should call this. The Necker Woods. Alright, let's get out of the Necker Woods. We want to get out of the Necker Woods and get up here to the city. I'm going to check out the notice board for this little town here. Dance your worries away! Come to the honey of the Goose? Is that the name of the local tavern? Because that's a hell of a name right there. For an evening of dance, we have fiddlers and pipers playing waltzes, jigs, bops, boleros, and redanian struts. So be you blithe and bonny and come enjoy some hey nani nani at the gunny of the goose. Oh, that's awesome. I love that. Ode to Podgy Bertha's Dandy Suitors, to Runty Orhans from Mount Carbon, to Bruges Swarthy Smiths and Coopers, and Nova Grotters with dead hard-ons, to Tredos, slimy pimps, and boozers with perfumed trains of painted tarts, to cleavers, clowns, and red-nosed bruisers, kiss my hairy arse, you losers. <laughs> <laughs> to weak-eyed slaves of elven riddles, to oxenfurt dons and tome perusers, slurping seas of Ithlane's drivel, Ithlinia's drivel, to fart down throats of other musers, kiss my hairy arse, you losers, and to those plowing human racists, sodden turds from northern sewers, you runny squirts and hunters braces, smearing witches with manures, kiss my hairy arse, you losers. Ah, oh, that is pure poetry. Very nice, very nice. Fair folk, stay away from Valen, even if they promise you a heap of gold. Even if the wild hunt itself's on your heels, even if your whole family is waiting there for you, south of the Pontar, you'll find only hunger and death. The Traveler. Dwarf seeking female companionship. <laughs> this is an interesting town, wherever, wherever this is. I like this place. Uh, they, they have dances. They have a tavern called the Cunny of the Goose. They have wonderful poets and now they have lonely dwarves. I'm all over it. Listen ladies, I'm gonna be honest with you, I'm short. The few teeth I still got are yellow and the bit of hair I've left is shedding fast. I can't dance, ain't much good with words, and the curse of riches don't afflict me. At times I admit I'll burp after a hearty supper, yet note that they call me Thorin Steel Pike. And not to toot my own horn, but the name fits me and my capacities perfectly. <laughs> Any ladies interested can send their visiting card. I'll show up post haste, perfumed, and with a box of Novigrad's finest chocolates in hand. Hey, I'll give it to the dude. I'll give it to the dude. I don't know. It's, it's, uh, <laughs> it's 
Sounds like my idea of romance. Oh, I love it. I love it. Orchard hands wanted. Wanted willing hands for orchard work. Mulching, watering, pruning, that sort of thing. Paid by the hour. P.S. Dwarves and halflings need not apply, for even on a ladder, they cannot reach the highest branches, and every other one of them's a drunk who whinges enough for three full-size men. Oh, there's an orchard here, too. What is this paradise? I want to know. Contract. Devil in the woods. Dear Witcher. Sir, if any be present hereabouts, that is. I have a hunch. Uh, what am I saying? I'm dead certain that the woods I was lucky enough to gain possession of, or at least I felt lucky about that till recently, these woods are home to a cruel evil, a devil of some kind. I hired a gang of dwarven loggers not long back to harvest lumber, strapping lads, every last one having cut down many a mighty tree in his life. So you can imagine my surprise when said loggers disappeared all save one, and he claimed to have seen a monster. I've marked out a bounty for freeing my stretch of woods from all foul creatures. I think those are the woods we came through. <laughs> those ones full of neckers and things. And dearly hope that I soon will have pleasure of giving it to someone. Alright, well. New marker. Cunny of the Goose. Yes, we must. New marker. Undiscover that we must visit the Cunny of the Goose. Oh my god. That sounds awesome. Ah, right here. There's an inn right there. Oh, and there's a shopkeeper wandering about. And, uh, it said there was some new markers. I don't know, but read contract, Devil in the Woods. Yes. Ah, new quest, Lord of the Wood. Let's check out that quest. Sounds like it might be a Witcher contract. Lord of the Wood, suggest a level 25. Yeah, I bet that's going to be in those woods we came through. Okay. But we must go and visit the pub first. Let's go check this out. Oh. Oh, town drunk, staggering around outside. Yes. Let us go in. Where's the music? Where's the dance? Oh my gosh. I love it. Oh, there's a strumpet. They have a strumpet. And they have... Oh, this guy. He must be the one who wants me to clear out the woods. Let's talk to him. Welcome, Master Witcher. Saw the notice. Let's say I'm interested. He's not a dwarf, Last though, year. is he? Is he a Grand halfling? Even. Name's Breen Horch. I posted that slip. Gonna need details. Of course, of course. Well, through a series of regrettable events, I came to own a spread of forest ripe for logging near Novigrad. At a distance from any roads, but quite near the port. Easy gold, right? Just hire some lumberjacks and count the coin. Meant details about the monster, not your business. Oh, it's all linked, see? I took on some dwarven loggers, but they came to me, claiming the forest haunted. Thought them lazy, nothing more. Then one day, they went in the wood, and only one returned. Said some forest devil had attacked him. Alright, you gotta pay my price. Let's talk about my pay, because the current offer's just not enough. Oh, right, this is haggling. Yeah, this is gonna be a lot of work, and I'm probably gonna need a lot of equipment, you see, sir. Very well. Let us say that's a price I'll pay willingly. Okay, I'll do it. I'll take the job. This logger, where'll I find him? Around. Last I saw him, he was drinking away his pay. Said he had to honor his dead comrades. All right. Yeah, he doesn't quite look like a dwarf, does he? He looks more like a gnome or a halfling or something. 
Because that notice we saw on the board said, didn't it say dwarves and halflings or dwarves and gnomes or whatever need not apply? Because you can't reach the top branches. Oh, has he got hairy feet? Is he a hobbit? There's a bard! Yes, master. Oh, they have more strumpets over here, too. In a place, that's a song. Is Geralt gonna bust a move? On top of me. <laughs> oh, there's another one over here. Oh, is she the private dancer? This looks a little more private back here. Snake eye. Got a snake's tongue as well. But I can't interact. Can't sit. Can't go behind the curtain. Can't make a deal. Welcome, traveler. Drink with your cocksucker. Fucking knock back a few so's my mates are raised peaceful. Okay. Something plowed them up good. But I don't know what it was. Don't know who or what to cuss. Talked to one Breen Hotch. Told me all about your comrade's death. No, my God. We tried to explain some horror was prowling in the forest. He refused to believe it. He's hired me. Wants me to find the beast that attacked you and your friends. Is that so? Well, I take back what he said. Good man, Breen. Though I have. Okay, so he is a Tell me about the attack. What do you remember? <sighs> we were making our way out of the forest, loaded with wood like pack horses. All of a sudden, we heard a bloody howl, like a wolf's pack leaders. We legged it, but then the cartwheel was stuck. Magnus Rector hollered that I should run to the hut for the crossbows, so I ran. Come back to the woods, bloody plowing massacre. Couldn't tell me mates apart. Thanks. Really helpful, that. Kill the bugger. Will you? Sure. Is the lumberjack the one that left the message on the board? Is he, is he the one with the steel pole? I'm asking for a friend. <laughs> 